Commission on Financial Inclusion is actually one of the advocacies of the Banco Central ng Pilipinas. And pawn shops are pawn shops are one are among our regulated financial institutions. So what we wanted to happen is for the unserved and underserved sector to um, be brought into the formal financial system. We we have we have a literacy program for 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 for. Our, um, for, for, for Filipinos, we, we have um, a fin cause, cause financial, uh, we have a nat national strategy for financial inclusion actually. It's an interagency um, partnership and um, project to uh, promote financial literacy, consumer protection, and um, access to financial services. So those are the three pillars for financial inclusion. In terms of the bank, uh, for, for our initiatives for, um, to promote greater inclusiveness, apart from our literacy campaign, we have uh, adopted, to the extent possible, the proportionate approach in terms of our, say, um, branching um, regulations, for particularly for those serving the uh, mark and bank areas. So we have sim simplified regulations for the unbanked areas, and we will be issuing before the end of the year our branch line policy. That is to allow uh, banks who have, uh, have um, who, ha who are planning to serve a specific. Um, area or market to, to easily establish their presence in, in those areas without the corresponding capital requirements um, attached to establishing full-scale branches. And um, we have also um, adopted a framework for non-bank intermediaries. And um, we, the, the objective actually to, to cast a wider net in terms of looping them in into the financial system. We, we recognize what happened in the uh, RCBC case. They, these are money service um, businesses. Uh, and uh, the, 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 the framework that we have in, in place actually is that they have to be registered with the uh, BSP. So the, 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 the policy is to um, put them into, um, within our radar of supervision. In terms of the RCBC, um, the RCBC case actually, I mean the Bangladesh has actually highlighted several gaps and loopholes in the regulation, among which is the, um, uh, the, 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 cur the AML law back then did not cover casino as, uh, casinos as covered entities, but now well, with the passage of the new law, they are now considered as covered entities. And what have we been doing? We've uh, uh, strengthened the enforcement framework for money laundering cases. That, that means that um, if you do not uh, if you do not comply with specific expectations of the regulators, then specific sanctions or enforcement actions will be applied in, in, in those cases. So, and um, another area highlighted by the, by the Bangladesh Bank highs is that um, one, a, a weakness of any, any organization probably is like people risk. If the culture and values within the organization, the, 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 the control culture is not that strong, your weakest link would be your employees. So we, we have established regulations on that already under our operational risk management framework and governance guidance.